what happens in Vegas, they don't stay in Vegas this time. That's you, right? Dunking in right here. It's gotta be at least 20 grand there. Is that what they pay you for putting trackers in these trucks? Okay, look. What if I didn't know that they were tracking devices? Oh, what if someone threatened me? Put a gun in my head, they made me. What if this we're not detectives, we're metro SWAT. We knock down doors and tackle guys carrying AKs. We do not have the time or the patience for whatever lie you're trying to perfect right now. We know you put a tracker in a third truck, so which one is it? I can't, I can't ID any of the crew. It was all done over the phone. Number's dead now. Burner. The phones are always a dead end with the pit crew. I could have saved you some time back, Captain. Let's move on to some more fruitful avenues of investigation, shall we? The third truck the mechanic put the tracker in. What do we know? Well, the truck's been in the garage for the past two days, getting worked on. It's coming out again tomorrow at 7 a.m. So we know which truck the pit crew's gonna head next, which is on the one. Well, where? There's 25 stops on this route. You can check out that many locations. And they might take the truck anywhere along the route. It doesn't have to be at one of the stops. So we follow the truck. Far enough back so the pit crew doesn't see us. called the pit crew for a reason, remember? If you're far enough back to not be seen, it's all over by the time you get there. Okay, but Tan's idea still might be our best bet, with one modification. We put SWAT officers inside the truck. Pit crew opens back. And the center back. For money, they get a face full of H case. The rest of the team shows up in the follow cars and cleans it up. I can track the truck from here and coordinate the follow cars. Captain? It's a good plan. I'll get perennial on board. Hey, something's going on with you and Dubois. That was so icy. I think I might need a sweater. I know the pit crew killed your CI. He was your friend. And you want to take them that personal on you, but I might have to pull SWAT off the task force. Pull us off? What, is this about the what? She's showing signs of painkiller abuse. Her judgment could be compromised. Good damn, that's one serious accusation. These are high stakes. I know you're going to put yourself in the back of the truck. But the at the helm, I'm not going to put your life in your hands. If she's not going to be the only one in the room making decisions, I trust you, and you know that. If anything looks off, I'm pulling the plug. And I'm counting on it. Thank <laughs> you. 
to trust in America. If you need to lose 30 pounds at once, Southern California Hospital in Culver City, Canada. Six months I suffering, and when I go on to write around 50 pounds, working with a woman in history and having a surgery has built up my confidence, a weight loss surgery, and some options to form people that gain the point in our journey. We only have one life to live. This is Dr. Martin Griffiths, and I chose Southern California Hospital in Culver City because of the state of the art technology and compassionate care. Call us through crystal phone consultation and CTO insurance verification. If you or a loved one has been injured in an auto accident, you need an experienced professional on your side to make sure you get the compensation you deserve. The law offices of Larry Parker have been protecting the rights of accident victims for over 40 years. Watch SWAT every weekend, right here.
I'm going to go to the bank. I'm going to be on the phone with the FBI all day tomorrow. Better than that, you can always just in the next city. Congrats on busting those guys. Thanks. I just wish I could have been the one surfing on top of that truck. <sighs> what you said earlier, you might be right. You might be good enough and still might make it. It's no surprise. Thanks for your honesty. Which means you have to be the best in your class. We can't give them any excuse to pass you over. So, what, you change your mind about helping me? No, the less to see of you and me together, the better. You don't jump straight, right? Dumbos? Isn't as funny as he does? <laughs> you should tell him that. Let me know his reaction. <laughs> You'll be at the range tomorrow morning if you still want tips on shooting that left hand. Don't be there. Thank you. Thank you when you make it. I can use the company. Well, it depends on how much the fence will cover, but you could easily.
can. Now you can get a low three ninety nine a month lease on a new Camry and get Toyota Care Standard. Summer starts here. Toyota, let's go places. I'm no copies with Sozervision.com. Shoved her hard and she'd fallen and hit her head. 
It was dangerous to do what she did. When she physically engaged it by pulling off this mask, uh, she definitely escalated the situation. Police officers all across the country are going through de-escalation training, and it's really good if citizens understand that they need to try to de-escalate situations as well. Bottom line, the best thing you could do is keep your distance and maybe get that phone out and record. Really, if there's going to be an investigation, you just want to be a good cooperating witness so that you can be there to identify the suspect if the police need to do that, turn over any reporting that you might have that you took. But, but I would really have to take the, the advice for Ambrose to intervene in situations like that. Not a good idea. Yeah, we may be cheering this particular ground because it all turned out okay, but please don't do that. Exactly. Thanks to their swift tag teaming, the duo stopped a crime in progress. Johansson said he reported the attempted theft to the Royal Canadian Mountain Police, but then it's now up to Walmart to follow through with pressing charges. There's no further information on any investigations. Our next video comes to us from across the pond in Farringdon, London. Sean O'Malley and some friends were up for a couple of pints in a pub at the Sir John Old Castle when he took out his phone to record this. A man in a hat and sunglasses can be seen going to work on a fruit machine. In America, we call them slot machines. But the crowbar in his hands removes any possibility that this is a game of chance. He has no money on the line. The only thing he's risking is going to jail. When he gets the cover fried open with his crowbar, one of the patrons says, but we're all probably thinking. <laughs> only 15 seconds later, the thief is already making his way out of the restaurant with the machine's cash box in hand. As of now, the video's been seen on Twitter nearly 700,000 times. Some social media comments point out that all Sean did was sit there and laugh. But he responded, who wants to get stabbed over a burglar and his one-armed bandit? Don't be silly. Despite all those views, Metropolitan Police never locate the thief. They did, however, find the cash box. And yes, it was empty. Coming up, a medieval-style road rage, a crash and grab, no. and later, one way to file a noise complaint. That's it. Yeah. Progress those home phone explorer makes it easy to compare home and share options. Man, I told my wife I'd be here for hours. What do we do now? We live. <laughs>
takes to be a winner, when the stakes are high, and winning matters. Injured accident victims who hire Sweet Shades can count on a 90% winning record, over a billion dollars in settlements, and pay nothing to tell you. The greatest athletes are your champions on the court. Sweet Shades is your champion in the courtroom. Awarded best attorneys in America. Next, we head down under for an out-of-control car chase caught on dash cam. It all started in August of 2021 in New South Wales, Australia, where two men desperately tried to flee an aggressive man driving a hatchback who won't give up the chase. The Mercedes, driven by two men who wished to remain anonymous, is equipped with rear and front-facing cameras, all recording a terrifying situation. A car swerved back and forth, and a man leaning out the window with hacks. Of course, to a halt by the maniacal driver in front of them, our victims only have one dangerous group of escape. But as you can see in the rearview angle, this doesn't deter the pursuer. They hit the Mercedes from behind. <laughs> The Mercedes is rear-ended again. And the other car spins out off the road, which gives these two men time and space to finally make an escape. They drive to a police station where they are told there are already troopers out looking for the driver who hit them. Cedric Sherrod Strong is a longtime police lieutenant with the LA County Sheriff's Department. Lieutenant did this driver do the right thing by exiting off the freeway or the expressway, whatever they call it in Australia? Because that required him to slow down, and this car with this crazy guy with an axe had the chance to bump into him, crash into him. I think that he was doing something well to try to get away, which is something that you should be trying to do. By all means, you don't try to keep up with someone who's hanging out of the window with an axe. What do you recommend to drivers who find themselves on an expressway, freeway, or even any road with a driver who's clearly unhinged, you know, for whatever reason, angry, wielding a weapon? What should you do? I call it practicing the pause. First of all, get a hold of your own emotions and opt out. I do not want to further this, so allow them to pass, allow them to keep going, create some space. And again, if you're on a freeway, for example, there is an exit time. You have to really be paying attention and mindful of what's going on. Let them get past that exit and then you take And if you have a passenger in the car with you, have them not only record what's happening, but call 911. Yes, and I would rather they call 911 rather than recording. The 47-year-old axe attacker was arrested and pleaded guilty to predatory driving and being armed with intent to commit a violent offense. He was sentenced to two years in prison. Here on iPrint, we've seen smash and grab robberies caught on camera. A group of people will break the windows of a storefront and take merchandise from the display cases. Or they'll go right into the business and take whatever is easiest to grab. Our next video out of Birmingham, England, might be the most brazen attack we've seen yet. This frightening burglary takes place in March of 2022 at the Danielle Jewelry Shop on Ladypool Road. <laughs> Stunned witnesses on one of Birmingham's busiest streets hit record as a highway maintenance vehicle rams through the store window in the middle of the afternoon and three masked thieves pile inside. CCTV footage from a nearby cafe captures another angle of the destructive attack. marches up and down the street, shouting at bystanders to stand back, allowing the thieves to raid the store. The thieves work fast. Within minutes, an armed lookout runs to his car as three thieves pile into the maintenance vehicle with their loot and they speed away. The lookout follows in a Range Rover, which drives up onto the sidewalk to get around traffic. As it does, the fake license plate taped to the fender falls off. Witnesses trying to find evidence realize the plate is useless, but there's plenty of cell phone footage. 
CCT video of the brazen robbery. And more cameras down the street catch the thieves transferring to a getaway car. Even though the robbers were well disguised, police are able to track them down within a month. Birmingham police arrest five men who may face robbery and weapons charges. In May, after making the pieces of their wrecked business, Danielle Jewelers Limited made a post on TikTok saying, You right there, the same spot? Business. Uh, okay. Up next on I Prime Full Streets of Brain. And later, silly games win silly losers. Close captioning for I Prime brought to you by.
Next on iCrime, we've said it before and we'll say it again. Cell phone video is the most reliable eyewitness testimony out there. Sometimes it shows the truth even the person recording the video can't see. In Alberta, Canada, it's against the law to stunt while driving. We're not talking about tricks you do with your car. It could be anything you do that could be distracting to other drivers, like talking on your phone while driving or flipping off a police officer. It's a serious ticket. The fine is nearly $600. And when the driver in our next video is pulled over and cited for stunting, he is furious. The video starts just after Michael Lutkin received his first ticket and is about to get his second one. This one for flipping off the officer. To say he's not happy is an understatement. Seriously, he got a ticket for stunting because he heard me yelling at someone on my phone. And then I fingered him on the way out of there and told him to mind his business. And he's pulling me over for stunting again. I feel like driving away and starting a high-speed chase. This is over-policing. He calls police dispatch to complain. Scott. There I am on the phone. As you did telling the officer he's waiting to talk to the officer's boss. Go on the phone right now with your boss. Lutkin's obscene tirade continues. Try and bully me. As his wife assesses the damage. Are you serious? Well, parked, Lutkin's anger over the ticket goes from a simmer to a boil. See your ticket, you I throw it on the ground, but you give me a ticket for littering. And I'm not paying this ticket either. He can shove it up his ass. I'll drive my insurance. I'm ready to if I have to. I don't give a But it's when the officer delivers the second ticket that Lutkin delivers on his promise. Give me my ticket. So I'll just move up. Lutkin turns his steering wheel to the left and starts to move. And then, just off camera, makes contact with the officer with his car. The officer is in pursuit and calls it back up. The officer approaches the car with his gun drawn to make an arrest.
Your plan can cover critical parts of the engine that you need protected, like your engine block, oil pump, and timing gears. Customers can also save on repairs for the transmission, air conditioner, compressor. Before your check engine light comes on, you should call CarShield because they help cover your cooling system, radiator, and water pump. With so many parts and systems protected, like your power windows, backup cameras, power seats, LCD screens, power steering, plus so much more, it's easy to see that CarShield can help save you thousands on car repairs. The real CarShield advantage isn't just the money you'll save on car repairs. It's the included benefits that will make you feel safe and secure, like rental car options. You'll also get 24-7 roadside assistance that includes flat tire repair, emergency fuel delivery, walkout help, courtesy towing at no additional cost. Calling CarShield gives drivers the advantage over expensive car repairs. Don't delay. Call CarShield today. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for diagnostics, labor, parts, and taxes. Call CarShield now to save with our price lock guarantee. Call 800-406-8457. What if my type 2 diabetes takes over? What if all I do is enough? Or what if I can do diabetes differently? Now you can with once week Kinanjaro. Kinanjaro helps your body regulate blood sugar. And Manjaro can help decrease how much food you eat. Three out of four people reached an A1C of less than 7%. Plus, people taking Manjaro lost up to 25 pounds. Manjaro is not for people with type 1 diabetes or children. Don't take Manjaro if you're allergic to it. You or your family have medullary thyroid cancer or multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2. Stop Manjaro and call your doctor right away if you have an allergic reaction, a lump or swelling in your neck, severe stomach pain, vision changes, or diabetic retinopathy. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis and gallbladder problems. Taking Manjaro with sulfonylurea or insulin raises low blood sugar risk. Tell your doctor if you're nursing, pregnant, or plan to be. Side effects include nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea which can cause dehydration and may worsen kidney problems. I can do diabetes differently with Manjaro. Ask your doctor about once weekly Manjaro. Time and Tim brought to you by 1-800-THE-LAW-2. Injured in a car crash, one of our experienced attorneys will fight to get your car repaired, medical bills paid, and get you max compensation. Get the power of our attorneys today. Call 1-800-THE-LAW-2 for no cost to you. Discover your perfect combination at the Tony Resort Casino, where you can rock and roll, sip and slide, twist and shout. Whatever moves you, get a nutty and awaken the fun. Play your perfect combination at the Tony Resort Casino. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more, Southern California Hospital in Culver City can help. I had my sleeve surgery with Dr. Michael Fays, and I lost 126 pounds. I noticed the way people treated me. The last 10 years of my life has been the best part of my life. The sleeve procedure was the absolute best thing that I've ever done for me. This is Dr. Michael Fays, and I chose Southern California Hospital and Culver City because of its state-of-the-art technology and compassionate care. Call us for your personal phone consultation and PPO insurance verification now. When you have an excessive noise problem in your community, there are a few ways to handle it. You can ask someone nicely to turn it down. You can even make a non-emergency call to your local police department. To close out this episode of I Crime, we'll show you a third option. We just don't recommend it. Vadim Sidorenko recorded this on his cell phone camera in Samara, Russia, in August of 2021. There's a loud party taking place on the Volga River. And he's found a way to make them cut it out. I don't think we need a translation for that. Having the night's festivities end before you're ready can be a major turnoff. In some jurisdictions, we should say anyone caught tampering with someone's power supply can be charged with a felony. 
It's unclear if anybody was charged in this case. That's it today for iCrime. We want to see your videos. Send them to us at iCrime.tv. I'm Elizabeth Vargas, reminding you, be alert and hit record. And this is iCrime. Here's a question. How do you make a dog owner really angry? You lock a dog in a hot car. Even in 70 degree weather, the temperature inside a car can go from 70 to 100 degrees in about 10 minutes. And that can be deadly for dogs. It's dangerous, cruel, and in Canada, as well as in a number of U.S. states, it's against the law. Back in July of 2017, it was a warm day in St. Catharines, Ontario, about 75 degrees, with plenty of Canadian high humidity. A French bulldog was left hiding under a bag in the back seat of a locked car, left in a shopping center parking lot. And with the heat rising, time was not on the Frenchy side. Kevin Struban, executive director of the Lincoln County Humane Society, arrives on the scene with an officer from Ontario's SPCA. What's the temperature today? No, Five degrees Celsius. As Struban hits record, the second officer takes the temperature inside the car through a barely open window. It is 45 degrees Celsius, which means it's 113 degrees Fahrenheit. Short-nosed dogs like French Bulldogs feel the heat faster than many breeds, and this dog needs to be freed from the car fast. Kevin Struman is the executive director of the Lincoln County Humane Society. Were you just out in, at that shopping mall by chance when you saw this dog in the back seat of the car? What happened was one of my officers called me on my cell phone and said, listen, I'm going to have to break this window. And he was literally across the street from me. So I had the door right beside me. I literally ran up the door across the street and I started recording because I thought, this is such a great educational opportunity. This has happened so much. How often do you see this where people go shopping and leave their dogs in a parked car when the weather's warm? We get calls every hot day that people are doing this, and you'd think with all the education that's going on out there, people would learn and not do it. They still do it, so we're getting two or three calls on a hot day still. And that day, the temperature was in the 70s, but it can very quickly get very, very hot inside the car. Talk a little bit about that difference. Like, you might think, oh, it's not so bad. I'm going to leave the dog in the car for a few minutes. But inside a car with the windows up, it quickly becomes like a sauna. It does. You know, the temperature inside the car was 45 degrees Celsius. That's 113 Fahrenheit. And then, of course, there's no air movement. What this dog does is a French bulldog. And he has a base bit of what's called a squished nose. And that makes it very difficult for them to breathe. So in the hot car, with the really high temperatures, no air movement, and difficulty breathing, it was the perfect storm for this dog to be in distress really quickly. As the dog owner has already broken the law by locking their pup in the car, the officer does his duty and breaks the car window to free the dog. 
So then we took the dog back to the Humane Society once the veterinarian had seen the dog. And then the owner came across the street from where he was into our shelter, and he was frantic. The, uh, the, the owner of the dog was charged with failing to provide adequate ventilation. We have to take each case on its own merits. You know, we've had other cases where dogs have died, and then somebody should be charged with either a provincial offense, which is slightly downgraded, or a criminal offense, which, when you're convicted, will give you a criminal record, and you'll be difficult to employ. Right, but at this point, at least in this case, a happy ending. A very happy ending for a very lucky dog. Luckily, our officer was close by, and I was available to capture it to really educate the community on what's not acceptable. The dog was taken to a veterinarian and was treated for an elevated temperature. Once they brought the temperature down, the dog was fine. The dog's owner was probably feeling the heat as well. They not only had to pay a fine for breaking the law, they also had to replace the window on their car. A lot of people have experienced some sort of nightmare neighbor. What happens when you live next door to someone who hurls braces for marks and even physically attacks you? Our next video shows a woman who has a history of lashing out at neighbors up and down the street, all of them black or Hispanic. The video was reported by Luvia Roman and her husband Miguel Rios of Indianapolis, Indiana. It shows their neighbor, Vicky New, ripping up no trespassing signs in their yard and then hurling them at the couple. No, trust me! Oh, no. No, yeah. Vicky New is standing on Roman's property as she destroys signs also on Roman's property. According to the neighbors, this is not the first time Vicky New has behaved like this. Roman begins recording Vicky's tirade and the insults start flying until finally Vicky walks away. Call the police! I've already called the police! One month, police received eight calls about the dispute. Allegedly, Roman isn't the only person on this street that knew has attacked. Twenty other neighbors claim to have had run-ins with her, all of them people of color. Roman records new and wisely keeps her distance. Genevieve Jones Wright is a civil rights attorney, and you know, I think most people have a, a bad neighbor story. Um, What's the best way to handle a neighbor who is acting aggressively like she is? This was definitely a nightmare neighbor by all accounts. I would say that if you have a nightmare neighbor and you have an HOA, please make your complaints to your HOA. But above that, know your rights, document everything, and report any harassing behavior or other crimes to your local law enforcement agency. And by all means, protect yourself. When you say HOA, you're talking about the Homeowners Association. How much responsibility does the Homeowners Association have to take care of people who are acting irrationally as this woman is? So I was really surprised in looking at this clip that there was such a late intervention by the HOA. With this amount of complaints, I believe that their involvement with the cease and desist letter was actually pretty long overdue. The HOA has rules and regulations, their own bylaws to regulate this type of behavior. We see HOAs intervene for lesser things like signs being too big on property. So this is exactly the purview of a homeowners association. Right. We have at least 20 neighbors up and down the street complaining about this woman's behavior. And by the way, all 20 families are families of color. This is, you know, your expertise is civil rights law. What, what kinds of laws is this woman breaking by targeting black and Hispanic neighbors on her street with this kind of aggressive behavior? Well, we can get into the province of hate crimes depending on what she has said and done to her neighbors of color. But when we talk about civil rights, we have to understand that if you interfere with someone's enjoyment of their property, you are violating someone else's civil rights. And it's a hate crime if you're interfering by yelling racial slurs or telling Hispanic people to go back to their country. That, in conjunction with some of her actions, we saw her commit a series of assaults and batteries, 
by taking the broken signs and throwing them and actually hitting both Luvia and Miguel. We also know that she made threats to kill them. And so that in conjunction with racial slurs can certainly constitute a hate crime. <laughs> with the help of the video evidence supplied by Roman, New was finally arrested and charged with battery and criminal trespass. The Homeowners Association for the Neighborhood issued a cease and desist order to New, ordering her not to contact her neighbors and urging her to sell her home and move, which she eventually did. While the criminal charges were later dismissed in June of 2022, New was ordered to pay nearly a quarter million dollars to her neighbor and to the Fair Housing Center of Central Indiana for housing discrimination. Coming up, an Uber driver takes a stand. <laughs> and later, police respond to desperate screams for help. <laughs> If you're making it to do list today, make it easy on yourself. Just write down Reese's, then write down Eat Them, and then cut it done for the day. The dry big cups, they're stuffed with more stuff. Hey, and one more. I think we got it. Yeah, let's put this on the RV. RV? Okay, everybody, look at the RV and smile. This is what you want for your family portrait? Good point. We bundled the boat with our home and auto first. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jane, get out of here. Tea? <laughs> Oh, fun. That looks like 24-7 financial protection with Progressive. 24-7 financial protection with Progressive. Okay, let's get some signals in the other bike. The fourth craft is I get breakouts in very specific areas. It really brought down my self-confidence. Get proactive and get America's number one acne routine for clear skin that stays clear. As soon as I started using it, I noticed results in like a week and my face loved it. Proactive has routines formulated for almost every type of skin. I got proactive and was able to take on the world at first. Now when you get proactive, get this free four cleansing brush with your first order. Go to proactive.com and get started today. Confused by all the Campbell's Gym toxic water commercials? Let me answer some of your questions. Are claims filed against the U.S. Marine Corps? No. The U.S. government has set aside billions of dollars for those who have suffered. The Marine Corps will not be abandoned. Will a Campbell's Gym claim affect my VA benefits? No. According to the VA, your right to VA benefits will remain intact. If you have questions about a Camp Lejeune claim, call the Driscoll firm now for a free consultation. 1-800-273-4800. There are times I wonder Why can't I wear white after Labor Day? Something on your mind? July, Twisters. Everyone loves more of a good thing. More. And Miss Morgan was no different. As her name suggested, she loved more. More? Oh. So when Miss Moore was injured, she called Morgan and Morgan. With more lawyers, more offices, and more than $15 billion recovered, she didn't have to ask for more anymore. When you're injured, you deserve more. One more? More than that market, America's largest injury law firm. <laughs> Mexican food. 
This woman, 30-year-old India Duerson, orders and pays for a burrito. But when she's told she'll have to wait five minutes, she picks up containers of food and throws them to the ground, knocking over massive containers of juice. She then walks up to the woman working behind the stand, Bertha Zuniga, who is trying to keep her distance, and proceeds to punch her in the head. Hey, okay, now keep them. Jimmy Sauces covers the street food scene on social media and often posts about crime against vendors. Jimmy, there's been an increasing number of attacks on these street vendors and their carts. Why is that? You know, they're, they're on the street and they're vulnerable. And, you know, they've got no protection from the city, from the police department, from anybody. So they're vulnerable and people take advantage of the situation and they go after them and they... They, they rob them, they beat them, they do all that stuff. So it's just a sad situation. Right, and we can see how vulnerable they are when you see Berta in this video. Your heart just breaks for her, but I guess I'm really kind of shocked that people are standing around watching this woman attack and trash her cart, her livelihood, and nobody does anything to stop her. You know, you're right about that. So sad. There was people recording. There was people just standing there not getting involved. I spoke to one of the gentlemen that was there. Uh, he said he was scared. He didn't know what she had a knife on her, a gun, anything. So they just kind of stood back and recorded just making your rage. In many cases, because so many of these people, um, you know, are you know, immigrants from another country, um, is there a, a reluctance to call police, do you think, and report crimes that are happening? Because they're afraid that they'll be seen as being in the country illegally or if they are being deported? A lot of these cases don't get reported because these people are afraid to call the police and to call the authorities because they think they're going to get it uh, cited, maybe even reported. So a lot of times what happens is they just kind of sweep it under the rug and just go out about it just another day. After an attack in Zuniga, Duerson walks back to the food cart and proceeds to spit on all the food still there before finally making herself a plate of food to go. Duerson leaves South Tacos trashed, the food contaminated and unsellable, and Zuniga reeling from her injuries. The video of the attack is shared on social media and on local news, and within two days, India Duerson was identified and arrested. She is currently being held on $60,000 bail while the police investigation into the incident continues. A GoFundMe was set up to support Bertha Zuniga after the attack, and members of the community raised more than $11,000 to cover her losses and pay for her medical bills. Next on iCrime, we have a video of a harrowing Uber trip all caught on camera after the driver picked up a drunk passenger at a Florida beach. Joe Leone had a dash cam and began recording the trip just minutes after the pickup when things started to get a little weird. The passenger named Taylor Richards is sitting in the front passenger seat, something Uber does not recommend people do. He appears to have been overserved at the beach and is now deeply under the influence. Richards reaches over and puts his hand on the driver's shoulder. The odd behavior continues for another 20 seconds or so until suddenly Richards lunges toward Leon and begins to strike him. The Uber driver is quick to defend himself and begins hitting Richards, warning him to stop. But Richards continues to attack Leon. It's not until Leon grabs him by the throat that Richards finally stops and opens the passenger side door. Without hesitation, Leon shoves Richards out of the car and calls 911. Leon gets a 911 dispatcher on the phone while Richards hangs on to the car. Leon cannot drive off without hurting him. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.